All right, so it wasn't even two decades ago. Astronomers knew of no other solar system than our own, right? Well, astronomers are now saying they believe 100 billion, that's right, billion stars in Milky Way, all of at least one companion planet. All right, Chad, that's pretty cool, because you and I, right, <laughs> we learned nine planets. Yes. That's We grew up right. learning the nine planets. <laughs> How did this happen? How did we <laughs> And the remember, explosion. there was one past Pluto, but they didn't know. Then we lost Pluto. It became a right. non-planet. It's like, oh, my. Now we're to 100 billion. We found this out. These, these numbers are now coming from scientists saying, look, we have Kepler. Kepler is looking out there, and Kepler is finding at least one planet per star. Every star that it looks at, it's finding at least a planet around that. And then there's this micro-lensing system out there. That's finding more stars beyond stars in our Milky Way galaxy. So adding up to about 100 billion stars in the Milky Way, each having at least one planet. That's easy multiplication. That's at least 100 billion planets out there. So i got to ask you this, though. Does this mean that there's po the possibility, life, companion life, it's other life that. beyond I, I the universe, not just I think it's probability. Certainly. It, all you really need is water, something warm enough, something in that at 60, 70, 80 degree range here Fahrenheit, and you have a planet with some type of life on it. I like that idea. And there's a lot of chances. Of that. <laughs> I like that. Yes. I've always believed that could be possible, sure. that we weren't alone. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chad. You're welcome.